Hello YouTube, so this is the OnePlus 2 and in this video I am planning to do a review, a software side review. I've already did a hands-on <coughs> video on OnePlus 2. If you didn't watch that one, please watch the previous video. So let's go and uh, check out the software side of this beast OnePlus 2. And first of all it is using this OnePlus 2 <coughs> OnePlus launcher. So you can see the wallpaper you used to see and then it's more like uh, Google launcher itself. And then here is the notification bar. If you go to the settings menu, about phone, you can find. I'm using uh, this is the model number for OnePlus 2, that is A2003. And then just having 4GB RAM, 64GB internal storage because I am using this sandstone black edition. And then uh, it is running on currently running on Android 5.1.1 and it is oxygen noise, which is 2.1.1. And uh, you can see other details like kernel versions and uh, build number. So that's the software size. So it is using Oxygen OS 2.1.1. In my opinion, this OS is very much limited compared to the Cyanogen OS because it's it's lacking, still lacking many features, and it, there are still a room for improvement. I'll talk about in in so. And then uh, if you go to go and. Uh, Check the settings menu in detail you can see all the regular options like airplane mode default sms app tethering you can do the portable wi-fi hotspot router tethering and uc usb tethering it's very much common in all the android phone these days next one is the button section from here you can choose whether you need on-screen navigation button or the capacitive touch screens and here if you sorry about that if you click on this one this is a back button actually and this is the task manager or the pre recent apps so it's like swapped it's it's in opposite side so if you want to swap again and here is an option called swap button so if you click on that one now this one will act as a back button and this one will act as a task thriller. you can choose between them so that's about the swap button and then if you want the backlight on this capacity to screen you can go for that and you can, you can turn on turn off that again and besides that you can customize the home button actions whether it's long press this is the home button if that uh, long press I've given that and then if you want to double tap you can give any options there and here is the reasons button you can customize that button also and the back button so you can actually customize the actions for long press and double tap on these three capacitive touch screens the capacity buttons sorry and here is the gestures these are the off screen gestures once this one is the double tap double tap to wake up so it is there double tap to wake up is there not a big deal and next one is open camera by swiping all I'll show you the samples um, so when the screen is off, draw all to directly open the camera. It is pretty quick as you can see. And then V for backlight. So you can see backlight is on. V again so it will turn off. So that's about the off-screen gestures. And you can also control the music by... And then in a display you can see brightness level you can control from the notification bar itself and color balance, adaptive brightness. So it, it, it will optimize the brightness level for available light. And wallpapers, I can change the wallpaper, live wallpaper, OnePlus wallpaper, possible. It's not a, what, anything new. So that's all about the display settings. And here's the sound and notification. You can customize all these. And uh, storage. And battery. And if you want to see battery percentage over the notification you can choose from here if you need a battery circle you can go for that if you need battery percentage you can see that also so you can choose from here and then here is a battery saver option so you can turn on and off for the battery saving in case it's needed and then apps in apps you can see all the download apps and then running apps and then all the apps if you tap on it you'll get a specific options for different apps here is the users you can add how many users you want and then here is the fingerprint so this is exclusive to the um, oneplus 2 
so first you need to so it will take some time and this is for one finger so if you use your left hand finger also you need to add that finger to is for my right hand finger so the setup is done so all set finish so if you want to add the left finger I can again I need to set up this I know it's a boring job but still I have to do this there is no other way okay so that also done so finish so if you go back I'm locking screen and then placing my finger here it automatically turn off so I'll try with the left finger so here you can see and if I'm trying with any other finger it won't work so it is pretty, pretty fast as you can see so that's about the fingerprint scanning and then other customization like if you don't like the white mode you can always go for the dark mode which is the only customization I see in this phone other than that nothing else I still miss all those cyanogen based cyanogen noise based uh, customizations anyway I'm a fan of uh, dark mode so I'll keep the dark mode so back and location app permissions from here you can give permission different permissions for different apps and then account like I'll see and see all the account size so, right. language and input backup and reset date time accessibility printing about phone so that's all about the settings menu if you look at the uh, dollar which is a uh, common dollar and it, because it is having two sim cards you can choose between these two sims so that is there and the same with the messaging app application application also so here is the Google Chrome button and then other Google applications are here Play Store if you go to the camera you can see different modes are there if you swipe here you can see time lapse slow motion photo video manual I'll do a detailed review on the camera so please keep on that one I'll do a instead of uh, showing some simple steps I'll do a detailed review on the OnePlus 2 camera so please keep subscribed and then in home page you can see auto audio tuner is there so you can customize between different equalizers and then uh, files application is there just act as a file browser besides that everything is Google application and stock application nothing oneplus related so overall this is uh, the oxygen OS is 2.1.1 but still I see a lot of room for improvement but as far as the oneplus 2 it's concerned it's a new phone so and the oxygen is a new operating system so we'll give some time can see the improvements uh, so and okay I forgot to mention this slider if you slide there are two ticks this is the bottom one and if I slide once it will show priority interruptions only so you can see the star in the notification area if I slide one more time so you can see no interruptions so there are two more two modes we can customize so it's it's a pretty good addition so uh, the thing is that I am looking for forward to this slider option it's because I think some developers will come up comes up with some better function for this um, slider we will we, we'll see you can see so overall it's a good phone the premium look is there I like the phone and but still I'm looking forward for a more software side optimizations and customizations that's all guys and please subscribe for more one plus two and one plus one related videos thanks for guys